Hello and welcome to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to be taking it back to the basics for our beginner level Photoshop users. You're going to learn how to create a dash line around a subject image. You're also going to learn how to create a diagonal line. I'm going to teach you two ways to create diagonal lines. I'm also going to show you how to create a dotted line around a custom shape. And you're going to learn how to create a dotted straight line along with a custom path dotted line. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I'll show you is how to make a dashed line around a subject image. I'm going to control click on our subject layer to bring up a selection. The next thing I'll do is go into the select menu at the very top and we're going to choose modify, expand. I'm going to expand this by 20 pixels. I'll click OK. Now that we've expanded our selection, I'm going to make sure that I have my um, quick selection tools set in my toolbar. I'll right click and we're going to choose make work path. Now the higher tolerance that you have here, the less detail you have in your selection. My tolerance is set at 3 pixels. I'll choose OK. The next thing I'm going to do is select my pen tool and we're going to click on shape at the very top. Now we don't want this particular shape, we want an outline of this shape. So I'll choose my custom shape tool and we're going to change the fill color up here to none. We're going to choose our stroke and select the color of your choice. I'll choose black. The next thing we'll do is we we'll set the weight. And on the next menu over, the next drop down menu, you have the option to select a dash line or a dotted line. We're going to select a dash line. And you here you have some drop down menus where you can um, change the alignment. This will be inside, center, and outside. So as you can see, that'll be in the center, and this will be on the outside. You also have the opportunity to change the caps, so you can round the ends of the, um, of the particular dashes. And if you select more options, what you can do is set the, um, the size of the dash. So we'll go, we'll zoom in, so you can see the size here. And we're going to make sure we got our custom custom shape tool selected. We'll go back and when you select the custom shape tool, it allows you to see more options to edit your stroke. So we'll go back into our drop down menu here. We'll select dash lines, select more options. And as you can see, if I increase this number here for my dash, you see they get larger. So if I put a 10 here, it makes the dash line a bit longer. So I'm gonna switch this back to four. And also where it says gap, if you increase your gap, then you'll have more space between lines. So I'm gonna put that back to two because I like the size of this gap. I'll select okay. We're gonna zoom back out. Next, I'll show you how to create a custom path for your dotted line. So I'm going to choose the brush tool and we're going to go into window and select brush. I'm choosing my brush at 60 points and um, we're going to increase the spacing here. So you see we have a solid stroke right here. Well, we want to set it to a dotted line, so I'm going to increase the spacing. And the larger the number, the more space between your dots. So if I decrease, you can see they come back together. If I increase, you have more space between dots. We'll close this out. I have my brush tool selected. I'm going to create a new layer. And you can just click and draw a path out. So we have something like that. I'll create a new layer. We're going to change the color here. 
I'll change change it to blue. I'll select OK. And while holding the shift key, we're going to create a straight line all the way across. Now that we've already set the properties for our brush tool, and if you if you can't recall that, you go into window, brush, and just increase the spacing or decrease the spacing. I'll close this back out. If you want to increase or decrease your brush size, you can use the left or, or right bracket keys right right below the backspace button. So the left key will, will decrease the size of your brush and the right bracket key will increase the size of your brush. We're going to lower it down a bit. And while holding the shift key, I'll click and drag. And that creates a straight I'll do that one more time. That creates a straight line. So holding the shift key allows you to create a straight line. The next thing I'll do is show you how to create a diagonal line. There's going to be two ways to do this, but I'm going to show you this first one right now. We'll choose a different color. I'm going to select maybe an orange color. I'll choose OK. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll click once let go and while holding the shift key I'll come up here and click again let go shift key click again let go shift key click again and here's another option to create a diagonal line you'll select your pen tool I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm also gonna change the color so we'll change this to maybe this type of green here with my pencil selected, I have my foreground color set. Before we um, continue, I'm going to choose my brush tool. And we're going to set the size and the type of brush that we want to stroke on our path. So I'm going to go into Window and select Brush. And now that I know I have spacing on my brush, I have my hardness all the way up to 100 and my size set to 60 maybe I'll bring this down a bit maybe to 48 so I select 48 and it reset my spacing so I'm just gonna bring my spacing back up there we go I'm gonna close this out I'm gonna choose my pen tool I'm gonna click once and drag down I'm gonna right click and we're going to choose stroke path now being that we set the properties for our brush tool prior to entering um, the stroke path option we can have a brush selected up here and it a stroke our path with the dotted line brush that we preset prior to entering the stroke path panel I'm going to select my move tool and press backspace to delete this line here. The next thing I'll show you guys how to do is create an ellipse. So we want a, a dotted line circle. So a circle with dotted lines. I'll select my ellipse tool. I'll click and drag out while holding the shift key. And we have some properties here, but I'm going to close this out and we're going to do it from the top menu just in case you guys don't receive a pop up menu like this. So you see, we have a solid color here. I'll move this down. Custom shape tool selected, my ellipse tool. And we're going to change the fill here to none. And we're going to choose a stroke. So let's choose. A yellow for this one and we're gonna increase the the um, the weight of the stroke so you have something like that and on the next drop down menu we're gonna choose dotted line I want to change my alignment to the outside of the path so we have our dotted line like this here and as you can see some of the spacing here it's not exactly where we want it to be. We want even, even spacing between the dots. So to do that, I'll go into more options. I'll highlight 
the number in the gap menu and we, with our up and down arrow keys we're just gonna increase the spacing between those two gaps so we can have even spacing all the way around and I'll click OK and the next thing I'll show you guys is how to create a custom shape with dotted lines so I'll go into my shape tool and I'll select custom shape and we're gonna choose a heart here so I'll locate my heart now that you have your shape selected I'm gonna create a new layer for this one and we're also gonna change the color to red I'll select OK I'm gonna click and drag out I just want to move this down into place. Again, I'll select my custom shape tool. And we're going to do the same that we did for the ellipse. We're going to change our fill to none. I'm going to choose my stroke and we're going to set that to red. We're going to increase the weight of our stroke so that you have something like that. We're going to select the next drop down menu and choose dotted line. And we're going to go into more options just to make sure that we set our dots on the outside of the path. And I think that looks fairly good here too. So again, if you want to increase or decrease the spacing between your dots, you can highlight the number where it says gap and use your up and down arrow keys to sort of move the spacing around and click OK if you're new to our channel please click on the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video please like and share it until next time